What if we are given a vertical line and asked to find the equation? We can still use the same process. Step one is find the slope. So using the slope formula, I have m equals y2 is 4 minus y, which is negative 1, over x2, which is negative 2, minus x1, which is also negative 2. Simplifying this, 4 minus negative 1 is 5. Negative 2 minus negative 2 is 0. I have an undefined slope. But I still have a slope in the form of a fraction, and I can still use it for step 2. In step 2, I take the slope formula. I replace m with 5 over 0. I put my y minus and my x minus. And then I take one of the points, whichever one I want. This time, I'm going to use this point here. So my y is negative 1 and my x is negative 2. Cross multiplying, I end up with 5 times x minus negative 2 is the same as x plus 2, so I'm writing it like that, equals 0 times y minus negative 1 is the same as y plus 1. Simplifying, 5x plus 10 equals 0 times this bracket is 0. At this point, I'm finished. I have an equation in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, and if I want, I can write it like this, 5x plus 0y plus 10 equals 0. Either of these are valid, correct answers. So when you have a vertical line, you can still use the same step 1, step 2 process, even though your slope is undefined. What about when I have a horizontal line? I can still use my step 1 and step 2 process, so I'm going to demonstrate it. To find my slope, I use the slope formula. My y2 is 3.5, and, and my x2 is 7. For point 1, I don't have x and y coordinates. I'm just given this b equals 3.5. When you're given one of the points in the form of b, you just have to know that b is uh, the notation for the y-intercept. Therefore, I have this point. If b equals 3.5, it means I have the point x is 0, y is 3.5. So that's the point that I can plug into the point 1 position of my slope formula. The y1 is 3.5, and, and the x1 is 0. Simplifying, 3.5 minus 3.5 is 0, 7 minus 0 is 7. I have a slope of 0 over 7. I know that equals 0 but I still want my slope in the form of a fraction, so I'm still going to use this for step two. Filling in the slope formula again, I put zero over seven in the m position. And I write my y minus, my x minus, and then I need a point. It doesn't matter which of these points I'll use, I'll use the seven, three and a half. So the y coordinate is three and a half, and the x coordinate is seven. Cross multiplying, I get zero times x minus 7 equals 7 times y minus 3.5. 0 times x minus 7 is equal to 0. 7 times y is 7y. 7 times negative 3.5 is negative 24 and a half. I like ax plus by plus c equals 0 for the form of the equation, so I'm just going to write this in reverse. 7y minus 24 and a half equals 0. And if I want to show my x term, I can write it as 0x plus 7y minus 24 and a half equals 0. So the step 1, step 2 process can be used for horizontal lines as well. You get a 0 over a number as your slope in the form of a fraction, and you can go ahead and use that fraction for step 2, even though you know this is equal to 0. And if you happen to be given one of these questions, where instead of one of the points you're given b equals number, you know what to do. It will always be the y-intercept, which means its x-coordinate has to be zero. They are giving you the coordinates, they are just doing it in a roundabout way.